Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put my hoops in today. I just realized that. Okay, well, here we are. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you guys are having the best 2020 ever. Literally, this is gonna be the best year of my life. I'm not even like, okay, like, you know, everyone thinks it's gonna be the best year of their life, but like, I really know. And everyone also says that, so I'll just shut up now. Um, but I wanted to do a video about how I plan, how I use my days. I use a mix of Google Calendar and Passion Planner. I actually last year went fully digital after doing three years of Passion Planner, very loyal to them, and it was really nice and helpful. My main reason was because it was quick on the go and I was correlating a lot of things and like cor correlating, I was coordinating a lot of things with like my podcast team, like a bunch of other people were involved. So I needed to do Google Calendar, um, which has been very great. But I haven't had like the list aspect. I haven't been able to do all these other things or whatever. And then Passion Planner came out with Passion Planner Daily, which I love. Uh, anyway, so Passion Planner Daily, um, Amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. If you guys don't know, there's a page for every single day. We'll go through it, but I'm going to show you guys how I like use my Google Calendar and how I use my Passion Planner daily. No, I don't really need to use both, but for me, I feel like it's so much better when I use both. I'm really talking with my hands today. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Let me know if you guys like to see videos like this where I do like sit down videos or if you guys prefer the whole vlog style thing or both. Whatever you guys want, let me know. Okay, so we're going to be talking about my Google Calendar. Actually, I have my iPad. Ooh, okay. So, I use my Google Calendar literally religiously. It's only January 6th, so I'm currently in the process of, like, recording and booking for the entire month for podcasts and stuff, so it's not as, like, crazy as it normally would be. I can show you guys, like, what November something looks like. Like, this is typically what my Google Calendar calendar looks like. So there's normally like a lot going on. It's pretty difficult for me to like film the whole planning process, but I wanted to film the planning process with you guys so you guys could see, so bear with me. Um, we're gonna try our best. Okay, so I'm just in my office and you guys are gonna be able to see how I plan on my Google Calendar. My mom is texting me, aren't I cool? So first I'll take you to November, um, what is this, October? I'm like, what comes before November? Um, yeah, so typically as you guys can see, I will do workouts in light blue. School is in green, like if I'm physically in class and then if I'm gonna do homework, it's in red. Uh, this like blueberry color, it's called blueberry on the Google Calendar. This dark blue um, I have for if I'm recording studio time or anything like that. Yellow is for filming, shooting, editing. Light green is church stuff. Pink is social, so like I was getting breakfast with my friend that day, I was getting Hanging out with Jess that day, cha-cha matcha date, like things like that. Um, this color, oh yeah, so this is like a deeper orange. You can't really tell, it looks more red on camera. This is for if I have like a meeting or something. That day I was meeting with the UCLA, it was like the her campus thing to do an interview. So yeah, I have all of this on here, which makes it really easy. If I do like a recording, I'm picking one that doesn't have that much info on it because it has like addresses and like people's contacts and stuff. But, like, let's say I'm recording with, like, Sophia Rossi or something, and I did record it through that month. I would make this, and then I have all the info. So, you can do, like, the address, the time, contacts, all of that stuff. And then I would um, add her. I would send her an invite. So, we're both on the same one. I know most of you guys probably know that, but that is, like, a big perk of that. Honestly, sometimes my friends and I send each other Google Calendar invites just for, like, social things. Like, um, I don't even remember where we were going, and TK did that. Maybe it was like some trip or something anyways and she did that with everyone, but yeah, it's really helpful I'm at church all day on Sundays. So like there's nothing really to be said there We had a conference there. I had connect groups all that stuff Um film office tour all of that But as you guys can see like oh and then if I have something like I'm out of town or someone's in town I'll do dark gray just over the days and it's just like as an all-day event um look like we had all of this so like this is kind of like a day in the life so meeting with Jasmine. This is a Monday. I had calls. Um, I had another call recording Pilates and then I had a like friend thing that night. Then like here, hot Pilates at seven. I had class from 9.30 to three. I went to the studio after that and then I hung out with Jess in Q. So that's just kind of how I run my Google calendar and how I do it. Um, as you guys can see, like I told you like the color coding and stuff. I'm really, really big into time batching. I think that's super helpful. 
So time batching is really helpful. Um, color coding is really helpful. Hi guys, me again. Um, if you guys are not familiar with time batching, time batching is really helpful. It's kind of the idea of doing um, like, okay, let's say, let's, let's categorize my life. I have school, um, church, work, and in work, I have like YouTube stuff, and then I have podcast stuff, and then like a few other things. So what works best for me is like Mondays, I don't have class. So that day typically is like, I film, edit, like it's a bunch of YouTube stuff for as long as possible. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like in the past, I traditionally had class. So I would... That would, those days would be classes, whatever. Those afternoons, I would block out to go record in the studio. It doesn't always work out perfectly for me because my calendar isn't really, like, fully my own. Like, it does. I have to coordinate with other people to have them on the podcast and stuff. But for the most part, if I'm able to, I will do one sort of task or category of tasks for, like, four or five hours at a time. I find that it works best for me. Like, for me, I found it's not the best to be, like, I'm going to edit for an hour, and then I'm going to write this assignment, and then I'm going to go back to making a thumbnail, and then whatever. Like, I would much rather just be, like, okay, four hours for YouTube, three hours for homework, stuff like that. So that helps me a lot. So now we're going to go into my passion planner daily. I'm very, very new to this, so um, nothing is going to be perfect. I am considering like you'll see I'm going through it and I'm really figuring out I'm super new and like super super new to this whole planner I'm not a pro at using it by any means but I've used passion planner in the past and I know what I do normally I do color code with highlighters with that I just ordered some to see if I like it but as of right now I don't know what I'm gonna do so we will see um, but yeah I'm really excited I will have the link to passion planner as well and then we'll also be doing a giveaway on my Instagram so go follow my Instagram but this is my passion planner. Um, this is the compact one. This is the passion planner daily though. They have like academic ones. They have, why am I forgetting that? I don't know. There's a lot of options. Um, personally, I've never had a planner that I like better. I really love the passion planner daily because it fully lays out your like day to day plan. As you guys can see, I'm going to flip it to like showing you guys over here so it's easier. But also I know with passion planner, you're able to download um, like one of these sheets like a pdf of this and print it out and use it to see if you like it um so that's like really really helpful actually but yeah i also like how this one is from 5 to 11 because in the past a lot of them were like 6 to 10 i think so that's pretty helpful not that i'm gonna be awake at five most days but uh we'll see maybe six i can do that so here's a planner there's a little tab right here and then what are these even called i feel like i know nothing today i don't know i'm just half awake um <laughs> To close the book, whatever. Okay, so you open it, the front page has like my personal contact info, so I'm not showing it, but name, all that stuff. Then has this little cute little illustration. It has a little kind of overview of what yours can look like. And then just start, write your own ideas here. And I haven't done all this, but these are things that I'm going to be doing. I'm keeping this one blank just for the purpose of this video for right now. Passion Planner is really big on the Passion Planner roadmap. I don't really want all my stuff out right now, but um, basically, you just make a roadmap with goals, which is really nice. Very cool. Keystone, I will. And it just basically makes, like, small practical goals that lead to your bigger goal. Has, um, over, like, this is, like, a year calendar. I like how it's split up in six months, though. That's really cool. And then you have your first day. And then, um, they also have this thing called like a self check-in, so it's this month's game changer goal. You're able to answer like what's on your mind, memorable moments, accomplishments I'm proud of, how I've grown, biggest lessons. Um, you rate the month, I will celebrate, by, um, and then define, brainstorm for the game changer goal. Then you have the month game changer goal, define, brainstorm, make it measurable, prioritize, incorporate, commit, define, your why, visualize, keys, all of these. I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm being kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, it's really helpful, and I like how this is laid out for every single day. This, honestly, is just very therapeutic for me, and it's nice to have something where I can make lists. You have, like, your game-changer goal, personal, work, free space to grow, self-maintenance, best thing that happened today, I learned today in one word, mood. Then you have all this. I really like um, graph paper, so I like how they have that, and then the hours are very helpful. So for the sake of today's video, I'm actually just going to do one for today. I would always do this the day before, at least. Um, honestly, throughout the week, I would probably have, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like, I would always have them all laid out and just be marking things. But for today's video, we're just going to do today. So, I really hope you guys can see all of this. Here is a little better view of 
the day. But today's focus, I'm kind of having like a productive day with work, but I also am like meeting up with a friend that I haven't seen in forever. So it's like half productive, half I'm gonna go see a friend and work out. I don't really have a focus. Tomorrow, I'm cleaning my entire house. So that will be my focus. Um, but basically, I guess my focus is just get back on track or get stuff done. That's what I'm gonna do. Get stuff done. Uh, great. So I'm first gonna start off by date. Today is January 6, 2020. Guys, I saw all the memes, not memes, I saw all the things go viral online that you're supposed to write out 2020 and not just 20 because they can always add like a 17 or whatever and scam you. So everyone always write out 2020 unless that was a trick, but I'm pretty sure they were right. Um, as you guys can see, I need to get my nails done. Tragically, it's been like a month, so I'm getting my nails done at 3.30. Nail appointment. Uh, my handwriting is really not cute right now, so especially when it's like there's not that much here, you know, so it's just not much I can do. Um, I have Pilates at 6.15, but I'm just going to do it at 6. Hot Pilates. This would be why I'm going to get the highlighters because it would go until 6.15 to 7.15, so I'll just do 6 to 7. How I'm going to do this right here where it's 6 to 7 with that, just to see that it's like two time blocks, I would just highlight and I'm going to keep the same color coding that I have for Google Calendar. So that would be a light blue. Self-maintenance. I did that this morning. Well, I guess today's focus is also like day one of Daniel Fast. Um... I thought about that, but it's okay. Personal. Today is day one of Daniel Fast. I'm actually ordering a lot of furniture today, so order furniture, which I already did, so I can actually check that off. Order furniture. I want to see Kat, my friend, nail appointment. I'm someone who puts that off for forever because I'm like, I would rather like edit or something and then my nails look like this, so it needs to be done. So I woke up at 6.30, so I juiced, so juice from around 7.30 to like 9.30 since it was day one I read. So read, I want to say I did that until around 9.30. This will look better when I have highlighters. Again, this is also just like very therapeutic for me, so it's very helpful. Then I got ready at 10, which I literally will put this in my Google Calendar like when I get... Or I used to have a note in my phone where I would do like to-do and it would be like 9.30 to 10 and I would check it off. Uh, but this is kind of working in place of that and I can also do it on my phone It might be a little bit crazy, but guys if you have like any sort of anxiety or anything this helps and also it's just kind of fun and therapeutic 11 film 11 to like 12 30 one. I'll eat lunch 1 30 to 3 30 what well, I just did this but I just wanted to see how I liked it edit hot Pilates and then that will be I think I'm gonna see my boyfriend tonight not quite sure for work I need to make my to-do list so it's gonna be film plan video edit Saturday's vlog I need to um, sign a few contracts so sign contracts I also need to reach out to people my game changer goals okay I used to drink hot lemon water all the time and this is something that's so small about every single morning and that was something that really benefited my life. So something so small about hot lemon water and juicing and just like smoothies in general. Something that I feel so much better when I'm doing constantly so I just did those two. Which I've already done hot lemon water and I juiced this morning which is really helpful. Day one of Daniel Fast reading. That's what I mean by that. I did that. Um, I'm going to see Kat get my nail appointment. Filming planning video. I just pretty much finished that with this. Um, and then I'm going to edit Saturday's vlog, sign contracts, reach out. So, for furniture, I'm going to do, because I need to order furniture in this space, I will have it right here. So, chairs. I got chairs today. I need to pick out a rug. I need to look at couches, which I pretty much am set on one right now. Oh my gosh, my feet hurt so bad sitting like this. Okay, so I need to reach out to people, which this is like business stuff, so I'm going to do this off camera. But like, let's say it's like Sally for the purpose of this video, but really it's a company. This is totally out of frame. Sorry, guys. So like Sally, Joe, Brian, whatever. But these are companies. So I need to like either reach out or respond to emails or whatever. It's like the first Monday of the year working. So my emails are like crazy and like things that I just know I need to do. Um, I also need to connect people that I, I'm just going to write this so I remember because I need to do that today. Self-maintenance was going back to my like morning routine these four at the bottom obviously you do at the end of the day 
Um, so yeah, this will look better when I start highlighting, but my highlighters aren't here yet. Free space to grow. Oh, I need to send a brand list to new people that I'm working with as well. Free space to grow. Um, I might just write a few goals that I don't really want to put on camera right here just for like random things. But this would I will use for like grocery lists, the to-do list, things I need to do that are a little bit more specific than this. These are like a little bit more broad. So that is how I would use this. And then obviously you can just go through in the monthly reflection and see. Um, sorry, I know you guys really wanted this video up. So without the highlighters, it's not as cute and my handwriting is not the best. But this is just personally what I do. And I find it to be very, very helpful. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And I keep this at my desk. And I just use this throughout the day to write down random things that I need. What I really like about this one too, and just kind of how I am with planning, is I'll do my big outline. I need a to-do list, which is what I really like about this. But I also need just like random things to kind of like go in more depth. Like buy furniture. Okay, what furniture do I need? Like just things like that that are a little bit more helpful. So I love this. And this is what I do to plan. Alright, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it was helpful to you guys. I kind of just took you through the journey. I'm not a pro at this. I don't have the best handwriting. I'm not like a bullet journal person or anything like that. But I wanted to show you guys what I do and what works for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment down below what day of the year it is when you guys are watching this. And then also comment down below your favorite planner. Clearly, I'm pretty biased. But I would just love to hear. Okay, I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon.